rooms here. You have the uh, room chambers, the pitot rooms, also for the for the lab. Uh, all the rest is for the breeding station for the north of France. We have uh, another breeding station in the south of France in Saint-Rémy, which is uh, the climate is more similar to Greece. Uh, and of course, we have other breeding station in New York, in Turkey, in, uh, in Almeria, south of Spain, and different places. So this is already this is only dedicated to open pit uh, My uh, center piece is somewhere there. Just to, to let you know, uh, what else to say? That this this place is supposed. Uh, it is possible that it could be flooding because uh, the river, the Loire River, is uh, not far. And it's a flat area. So in case it, it didn't happen for more than 150 years, but just in case, every important thing is uh, three meters higher than the ground level. And uh, also we have this this uh, electric uh, power supply, just in case uh, there is a disruption. And of course, it is more than three meters higher, so uh, the lab will not stop if we are flooded. We will have to leave. <laughs> All right. Uh, I am working mostly uh, out of Angers, because uh, this is not a place to grow polyflower, neither broccoli, neither anything. Uh, so, all breeders, this is, I, I think you know, we are traveling a lot. Uh, normally, a breeder is uh, traveling more than 40% of his time just to go to these trainings everywhere in the world. Uh, this is Brittany, and uh, normally I like the sea, I like to flower, so I join two together, and very often I'm, I'm very close to the sea. In Italy, for example, all the flowers are grown uh, on Adriatic Gold Coast, on the Mediterranean Coast, but uh, very often it is close to the city. This is Italy, before it was Brittany. And then, then I'm going to tell you a few things about the Queen Power team first. Then uh, we will speak about resistances, which is uh, the most important thing for uh, for breeding. And then few varieties, seed production, and few other things that I want to talk about. The cauliflower team. Uh, since 1982, I've been breeding cauliflower for all cycles from tropicals, 14, 60 days, up to very long cycle, up to 300 days from uh, planting to harvest, which is uh, no sense for most of you, because uh, 300 days in the field it doesn't mean anything, but for Britain and UK it is it's still important. This is a team. <coughs> uh, so, from since uh, 2013, we have this guy who died. <coughs> he is less than 40 years old, and he is breeding for tropicals, meaning 40, 60 days. Um, so he is breeding for uh, India, of course, but also for Brazil and Indonesia. These are the three places where you will find a uh, lot of tropicals. Of course, you can find tropicals in other places, but it's not a uh, it's not important market. Uh, since 2015, exactly January 5th. Uh, we have uh, this lady, Anaïs, uh, she's also very young, she's uh, less than 30. Uh, she started directly from school uh, and she's taking care of 60, 90 days. And so I'm keeping only 90, 240 days. After, after that, we decided to stop and to leave it to Villemorin because it's a very small market, so it doesn't mean anything that in uh, Lima Grand Group there are two companies working on such a small market. I'm also breeding for diversifications, meaning uh, Romanesco, you will see some in the field, also Orange Curl, you will see some also in, on the table, uh, and that's it. Uh, we also get help from uh, biotechnology, you've seen the, uh, the big research center there. So we have, uh, the, the, the name is not nice at all, uh, sorry. So this uh, lady, well, she's she's very small but very powerful. <laughs> she's uh, she's called Gal. It's not a nice name, but it means genetic application lead. So she's helping to convert uh, everything from biotechnology to uh, breeding. Uh, the other guy, th this this one is a broccoli breeder, Pierre Rier. 
this is an edge again, and this one is working for LBS, so he's not HM Close guy, he's uh, one step above. Uh, and he's uh, the pre-breeder, so he's helping to find new traits, to find, uh, to help for the three different BUs from Limagrin, which are Azera, uh, Bilmora Bitado, and HM Close. So, bad resistances. Uh, these are the main resistances, so these are not all the resistances we are working on, but these are the resistances you might be interested in. Because there are some, uh, some uh, fungus, for example, uh, Micos farella, doesn't exist in Greece because it is going with uh, fresh and humid uh, weather, so it doesn't make sense to talk about it. So, what is important for you? Of course, one of the main uh, priorities will be Contumonas, then you will, we will see Pseudomonas, Algemaya, Labrut, Mildew, Eternal Mildew, and Verticillia. This is Dortomonas. So I think everybody knows Dortomonas, this is bacteria. So we are, we are ready for that since long. And already we have some intermediate resistances. So you can see, for example, this variety is much less sensitive than this one. Uh, we don't have full resistance. At the moment, it doesn't exist. But we have some very good level of resistances. So the monas, this is also very important. This is a, another bacteria. Uh, for, for us, for cauliflower, it makes this kind of, uh, of damage. Uh, we already have some very good uh, uh, behavior for, for that. Uh, next one is a uh, fungus, Alternaria. This is very important, really, and especially this year, worldwide it has been a disaster. We had a lot of problems with Alternaria everywhere, including India, for example but also Britain, Spain, and I think in Greece you also probably have uh, had some, uh, some problem. So on the foliage for cauliflower it's already a problem, but on curl it's, but it's worse. Because then you have this kind of black dots on, on the curl. Uh, in previous time, uh, growers in Britain, they said this is a fly. <laughs> it, it is doing same, uh, you, you have the feeling that it is a dejection from, uh, from flies. But of course it's not, uh, it's, uh, it's not a matter. Uh, so this uh, this fungus we are working on uh, with uh, the pre-breeder because we, 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 we tried on our own but we couldn't find any solution. So at the moment this is uh, <coughs> the pre-breeder level that we are working on it. We are, we are doing uh, steps but we don't have any variety of resistance at the moment. We will, uh, we will see later. This is what everybody knows uh, what, uh, what it can do. Uh, mildew. Internal mildew uh, is very important for broccoli. I think Raphael will tell you a few words about it. And uh, Romanesco. In cauliflower, it's less important. It's, uh, it's rare to find uh, internal mildew in, uh, in cauliflower. But in Romanesco, it's, uh, it's really bad. Uh, so you can see the difference uh, between. Uh, a curl with or on a curl without. But it's a, I find it, the problem is also very important for processing. Because if you have a, a curl even with a touch of uh, mildew, then the taste of the whole curl is really bad. So it's, it's really very important for us. We, we already have some very good material for broccoli. Also for our school, we have few varieties with a good behavior. But we need to, to go further. Well, I know that Romanesco is not important for Greece, but for Italy it's very important. And uh, so this uh, resistance is also very important for short cycle varieties. Verticillium, I just mentioned, because it's, this is a disease for just some places. It is, it is a soil borne disease. So it's very important for Germany. In the west part of Germany, there is a lot of fields are infected. <coughs> It's important uh, in the south of Belgium <coughs> and in Australia. These are the three main places we will find a lot of verticillium. Uh, so we already have some, uh, for example, Eviso. Eviso is, uh, is having a good behavior against verticillium. So I don't know, I don't think there's any problem in Greece, but just to mention. Then, varieties. So I asked Charlotte to tell me what are the main uh, varieties for Greece. 
because we have uh, nearly 50 varieties for cauliflower, 50 hybrids for cauliflower. So I'm not going, don't worry, I'm not going to talk about the 50 varieties. I will just mention the main uh, varieties uh, that are used in Greece uh, following the climate. Uh, so the first one is Aviso. And uh, I choose this picture because uh, it's completely different from uh, your uh, uh, country. Just to show that Aviso has, can be grown in many, many, many places from the States. It's still a leading variety in the States. And then uh, from the north to the south, from the east to west, Aviso has been a worldwide variety uh, for long and still used. Give me a second, please. Το Αβίζο για το γλώσσο και για μαρκία την Αγγλής είναι το best seller όλα αυτά τα χρόνια. Εγώ όσο θυμάμαι τον εαυτό μου τα τελευταία 20 χρόνια είναι από το νούμερο να ακολουθεί σε πωλήσεις και είναι ακόμη που κάνουμε και το σπορ και μόνο στην Ελλάδα και στην Βουλγαρία και στη Ρουμανία γιατί όπως λέει και ο Ρεμπλή είναι πάρα πολύ εφροσάρμοστο σε οποιοδήποτε συνθήκη από όλα τα γεωγραφικά μήκη και πλάτη της χώρας συν το ότι μπορούμε να το βάλουμε και σε διαφορετικές εποχές και να βγει εκεί στις ολόντα με 90 ημέρες. Ευχαριστώ. Ωραία. Αυτό που θα δούμε στο επόμενο πίκτρο είναι ότι ήταν στην νότητα της Φρόντας. Υπάρχει μια μικρή αρέα, το πλαίσιο είναι το Σαντομέρ and it's a very wet place, so you have canals, and even brewers are using boats to harvest uh, cauliflower, and to deliver cauliflower to the market, they also use boats. But now, they are using trucks, so this is another picture. <laughs> but just to show that, so they, they, are, they are not big boats, but very heavy, and so they can carry uh, the equivalent to what the tractor or the trailer does. You see, they go to the, up to the market with this... Uh, <coughs> the, the, the boat has a nice name, it's called Bacco. Nobody knows, huh? because it's really very local. And just to show something different. From, uh, even for French people, this is completely uh, strange. This one, another one. So, uh, we are using it in Italy. We are using it in Australia. Uh, we are using it in different places. Also in Greece. Also in Greece. And in Bulgaria and in Romania. For uh, 70, 75 days, these days, let's say. I think it's around 70 to 80 days. Εκεί στι 70-80 μέρε για φύτευση καλοκαίρι, αλλά μπορούμε να το βάλουμε και την άνοιξη. Για να βγει σε αυτό το κύκλο. Έτσι δεν είναι, Κάβε. Εκεί είμαστε λίγο πιο βόρειο, γιατί μπορεί να χρειάζεται και 85 μέρε. <laughs> Next one is a new one, Tesla, which is uh, after, uh, after, after the, the two previous ones, so 95 days roughly, with a good figure, a good cover, white curl. You will see it in the, in the demo field. No, no Very good cover. Yeah. Yeah. It's the one that I like more from the in terms of uh, the closing of the hair. It's very quick because of cleaning. And these are a big ass of that, and a big ass of that. Get to the deep end. Se mas ete te ligo para pano si me dio se kato me kato me kato me kato. Dio ena ke no me taxi trion minon ke te sal minon en diamas se kato me kato me kato. Kita te polegis. Bada si fite sa fte sa luz piaz. Then Naruto, which is uh, the, the latest that you can use, 120 days. Uh, after Aviso, this is our best setup worldwide. We can use it in the north, in the south, east, west, everywhere we can use it. We can use it in Turkey, we can use it in Holland, we can use it in the UK, in Spain, Italy. Uh, so this is really, the, because it has a very good figure, very good cover, and the head is very, very solid. So it also can be used for processing market. Αυτό είναι το best seller αυτή τη στιγμή στου 4 μήνε. Και βγαίνει όποια εποχή να τον βάλουμε, είναι το πιο σταθερό στι μέρε του, στου 120 μέρε του. Και πάρα πολύ καλή ποιότητα και ανθεκτικό σε πολλέ ασθένειε. Σε αυτή την πίκτρα μπορείτε να δείτε πόσο βαθύ είναι. Μπορείτε να δείτε ότι δεν υπάρχει κανένα χώρο. Είναι πολύ σωστό. 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 I tell you that we are also working for some uh, other uh, crops. So you, you have uh, green, green curls, we have a full range, we have uh, seven or eight varieties, for, mainly for Italian. 
So it's, it starts in, the, in one place in Italy, and it, but then it's also sold in, the, in other places. A little bit in Spain, but really only a little bit also in California, in the States, but mainly it's Italy. Uh, uh, sorry. And then also, yes, of course, Romanesco. We have a full range of uh, Romanesco from uh, 85, 90 days uh, up to 140, something like that. Uh, we have been working with an, uh, an Italian institute for 20 years, so we have a kind of jun uh, junction to uh, have kind of co-hybrids. So part of our range is 100% uh, which close, part is also done with an uh, Italian uh, institute. Uh, and of course you will see uh, one variety in the, on the table, Japa. Uh, we have ourselves, and we are also working to decline this uh, color in other crops. Seed production. I decided to tell you a few things uh, about seed production because this is really very important for cauliflower. Doesn't, it's useless to bring good varieties if, if you cannot produce good quality seeds. So I've been involved also in seed production. I'm not responsible for that. Of course, there is a one guy or a team responsible for seed production and for seed supply. But uh, the, the breeder, for cauliflower especially, is involved uh, just to give uh, technical advice and. Uh, I've been in the past, I've been also very much involved in that. So it, it, what is very important is to say that uh, all our varieties are made using the CMS, cytoplasmic male sterile uh, system, Me we, meaning that there is, uh, our uh, hybrids are 100% hybrids. Like, uh, sometimes you may find one or two of types, they are hybrids, that's the right hybrid, but normally, you have 100% of the right uh, variety, which is hybrid. Previously, like Aviso, for example, or all the old uh, uh, um, self-incompatible variety, you could have some of types which were called inbred seeds, which were, in fact, uh, the mother that was that self itself. So you had smaller plants in the, in the middle of hybrids. Now, all the plants, if you look at Naruto, for example, you will see it's like a table, right? It's, uh, it's really, it's because we are using this system. Mm -hmm. So, this one, we call it the female. It's wrong because you have the stamens, huh? but the stamens are shortened, you don't see any pollen there. Uh, compared to the one we are using as male, it's not a male because also the, the, the female system is there, but we use it as a male. Huh? So, in our language, reader language, we will say female, male. This is a, a seed production field of Aviso in, uh, in Spain. <coughs> so, so you see the could be Greece, huh? nearly. Yeah. Uh, but this is Spain, hilly area, and they, they, call, they, 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 they grow uh, very far, in, they call it Bonquet. Uh, this is a kind of terrace. Uh, they just uh, made a kind of place in the mountain, just to have a flat area. And then, as it is a bit higher than the sea level, the climate is better, and they can produce. So you see, uh, <coughs> here, the female is flowering, is yellow flowering, and the male is white flowering. So you can see the, the different rows. Uh, this is open field production. For that, we are using bees. So they put a lot of hives around the field. So you must be careful when you visit, because uh, if they are not happy, I've been, they got me only once, but some of them, and, and you can be allergic, and so we have safety procedures to be sure that there is no increase. These are the highs, especially early afternoon, better not to go too, too close to the, to the high. So we know where the highs are, and we make, uh, sometimes we walk around just to be sure that we go. We also produce in uh, plastic tunnels to get better quality seeds. Uh, because then you have the protection from the rain, especially for xanthomonas, uh, is very important because with rain you, you may get xanthomonas from some uh, other places. So this is a this is a plastic tunnel in Brittany, and then you see uh, four rows of female, two rows of male, again female, and again male with different plantings for the male, just to be sure to have a good digging. Very often what we do. We have several planting for the only one planting for the female, and different planting for the male, just to be sure to have pollen 
during the flowering uh, time. Another picture is when it is bolting. Again, you see four rows, two rows. It depends on the variety. Huh? Sometimes you have five rows, uh, two rows, or sometimes it's, uh, it's, you know, it depends on the variety. See the technical procedures. And then in plastic tunnels, we, we cannot use uh, bees. We can, but then we will destroy the, the hive because uh, it will be hot sometimes, and then uh, it's uh, too small place, and so the, the bees are. I mean, that's the, and then we will have problems with the guy who is with the owner of the hives. So we use flies. Flies are, are easy to grow. We buy them from a special company, and we put them in, a, in here, and we see a lot of flies. It's not very nice to be in a plastic tunnel with, with flies. For me, it's very, 